everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is kind of a strange December daily video, technically not December. And here I had an idea of I wanted what I wanted to do, so I left a little sketch so I would remember when I started working on my pages and I did that uh, throughout the album. I put all the photos in there, it's already full. I really hope I don't end up making a second one because... I do love to complicate my life and add, I was like, it's going to be so simple. And this is the first page and I already made it way too difficult. So last year, my little one especially came in hot. She was like, November 1st, she had a sweater on. She's like, let's take all the Halloween decorations out. You know what? I'm ready for the holidays. Let's do this. So... Uh, I took a photo of her uh, with the sweater and next to the Halloween display. I kind of wanted to make that juxtaposition of holidays. And we went to the library to, you know, just pick books like we usually do. And uh, there was like a balloon arch with a spider. And... I was like, that's so funny because you have this holiday sweater. So I wanted to make this, these pages Halloween-y and Christmassy at the same time. And it makes no sense. And at first, I didn't love how this tree came out. I scrap lifted myself. I made a little tree with a bunch of stickers and items a few years ago and I wanted to make something similar but I wanted to use Halloween elements and holiday elements and these doodles doodle oh my god what's the name all the things I got <laughs> and I forgot the name doodle bug stickers both for spooky cute spooky sweet I don't remember I'm gonna link the items that I use below a bunch of them are affiliate links you don't have to use them but they help me a lot thank you to those of you who use them and I just wanted to like try to put like a layer of Halloween then a little bit of the holidays then Halloween and try to mix it up a little bit and I use a die cut that I think it's from the cot shop uh, to just sketch a tree shape in for the, the branch bar the bottom the stump I use a little ghosty I also have some stickers that I've gotten from either scrapbook.com like these cute Santas and some American greetings that I got from Target every year I check out what's new there a bunch of times they have very cool new stuff so always if you're in the search for stickers I think that the greeting card section from Target it's a great way to go and to like take care of those spaces in the middle where you know I couldn't fit a Santa or a ghost I'm going to use enamel dots and little sprinkles that come in the doodle bug stickers sheets these are like they're sh called shape sprinkles actually and also a few of the sheets had little stars and other elements that I was able to include some hearts and I'm just trying to put different colors around and make it very random and instead of a star at the top, I used the bat now and at the bottom I used the ghost. So on the next one, we're going to go a little Christmassy with the top and bottom, but it's going to be the same concept. And I did this first and then I couldn't come up with anything to put on the other side. I, I was thinking about like picture of Maria Carey because if you saw that last year she she was a witch and then she was like in her whole Santa holiday get up but there were no offense to my girl she looks amazing there was so much Mariah boobs <laughs> I don't know if I wanted those in my December daily 
they should be, you know, kept for the future, but <laughs> maybe not in my December daily. Um, but I did use, I'm gonna use uh, a meme from Bob's Burgers. So this is the first part. And after a long time of thinking what I could add to the back, I said, why not just go at it again? And, you know, it was a very fun process. This is very, I love the BFF sticker club and the things that Leilani does with that. And I, I'm a hoarder kind of with my stickers. I'm like, if I'm going to use my good, super cute stickers, I want it to be my project life, my December daily, something that I'm going to keep. I don't do it in my planner because, um, I throw it out every year at the end. So it seems kind of wasteful, especially if it's something that I really love. Something like these Feed Your Crab stickers that are at the bottom. The ones with the sweaters are from American Greetings. So we don't have Feed Your Craft anymore. So it would be kind of silly of me to use some of those stickers. And I'm overthinking it. You use your stickers how you want. This is me being a pain to myself because I love to make my life difficult and overthink everything. So whatever you do, however you want to use them, if you don't have these issues, then I'm jealous. That's awesome. <laughs> Good for you. But uh, for me, I wanted to use my awesome stickers on my more permanent projects. And But I love how they look. They have these little... Uh, weekly challenges and daily like spaces that you can use. If you've seen Leilani's video, she does a, f a few flip throughs of her. It's like an album, like a almost like a planner sort of thing. But it looks so cool. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do that because I'm a weird hoarder that has like an anxious attachment to her stickers. I need like my own therapist for that. So this is the closest thing I could do that fits my style. And again, it's very random. It doesn't make a lot of sense. My thought process here with the Halloween slash holiday, it just came to me because that collage that I wanted to scrap with was really something that I wanted to do in this album. And I was like, I know that I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to come up with a plan to use it somewhere. So using it very early in my album was awesome. And I do enjoy this kind of different approach to people who can't wait for the holidays. This year, we are taking it a little bit slower. Uh, my little one says that she's not ready for holiday music yet. So I'm the one who's like secretly listening to Christmas music and loving it and I have one tree already up so and then I have a bunch of other things out it's I'm taking it slow with my holidays but it's been very fun I'm just trying to look through the smaller stickers. I also have a sheet, the one that I have in my left hand right now, uh, that is from Paige Evans. I have a few things of her Sugar Plum Wishes, I think it's the name of her collection. And then I have a few other smaller stickers that are from Pipsticks and more American Greetings. The ones on the right that I use for the very small candy cane are quite old, but they, are, they have so many little elements that I've been able to use them for quite a while. And then I love these super tiny Pipsticks elements that they've been including in their kits. And I think that the kid that is supposed to arrive the November one has a holiday little sprinkle stickers and I cannot wait to use it. And I forgot to put my little strip on the side of the tag before I did all of this. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit. You can get this tag and the little stri adhesive stripe 
uh, from the Citrus Twist Kids website. They have also holiday kits there too. They have digital ones if you are thinking about shipping and all that. So it's a good alternative. And this part where I put the stickers is a little bit faster than usual because it was very long. The whole video is like almost three hours and it's just me overthinking stickers. It's the weirdest story ever, but that's how I do it. <laughs> I do love overthinking everything. And I had my kit for Halloween and then my holiday kit, so I was able to like was trying to keep them a little bit separate so I could put them back where they belong. And again, now I'm using the smaller enamel dots and shapes to fill out spaces. Oh, and I'm missing the star that I'm gonna put at the top for the stump. On this side, I used um, a gift. It is super busy. Here I am just cutting the Citrus Twist Kits strip. I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit more. It's kind of difficult because it's so thin. You can also punch holes through it. That depends on where the holes are. On your album I personally didn't want to punch holes and this is also a little bit more sturdy than punching the holes I always use reinforce reinforcers when I do punch holes but I prefer this and I wanted to add something at the bottom and if I had all the space in the world I would have used pom-poms but my album it's not even December 1st yet and it's already full so I'm gonna have to settle for paper and I was looking through these scallops from Pretty Little Studio and then I remember that I cut out some of those with my silhouette using pattern paper. So if you love those from Pretty Little Studio and you have a die cut machine, an electronic die, die cut machine, you can absolutely do them yourself. So I had these smaller ones. And something that I like to do, and I'm glad I did it in this case, is that I, I cut a bunch of one pattern paper and I flip the, the, like I do mirror images. And that way I was able to do this in both sides. I use a Tumbo Mono Aqua Liquid Glue because it is a small piece. For paper, I usually use the Tumbo Mono Air Touch Adhesive, but it's just easier to use the Mono Aqua Liquid Glue in this case. And I was just looking for something to put at the top. And I think... I think it's from either an old Citrus Twist Kits kit or I don't know where I got that rick rick and I ended up using this which is from Target you can get it in the the core aisle where you find lights and garlands and all that it's quite cheap I think it's like five dollars and there's a bunch of it I just twisted it and I wish I could go a few more times so it's a little bit tighter so half of the video <laughs> was that making those tags and I love how that turned out and I wanted to add this Bob's, Bob's Burgers meme and I love it because it's Bob telling Linda like it's the day after Halloween Lynn and you can see that there are still like a there's a there's a Christmas tree but there is a happy Halloween banner the kids are eating candy there are pumpkins and spider webs around and that's exactly how I felt. <laughs> it was very accurate. So I'm gonna use a pretty simple pattern for the background and it's just some sort of grid. This paper is ancient, it's so old. It's from Big Picture 
but technically from Studio Calico. I think I got it from Studio Calico. And I wanted again to use some Halloween elements and some holiday elements. So for some pieces, most of the pieces that I use on the Halloween portion of this little layout, I'm going to use the Studio Calico Halloween kit. I forget the name, but I believe you can still get it. They may still have some available. And at the bottom, I am going to decorate it for the holidays. I'm just going to pull out some die cuts and, you know, try to space them in a way that you can see everything. I'm just looking through the paper so I can find paper to mat the photo. There are a bunch of cute ones there, but I didn't want to cover um, some of the patterns. So I was looking for something neutral, but that not neutral, but something that had a smaller pattern and maybe something more simple. I'm going to end up going with those ornaments that also have some greenery and I love this little guillotine I got it from Joann's I used a coupon and yeah you can use it for things that are big but if you do project life if you do projects like this where the scale is a lot smaller than a regular 12 by 12 album or scrapbook page, then it's perfect for that. I'm going to keep the other side. And I am an over embellisher, so I always keep adding and adding. And I was thinking to myself, on the right part of this layout, you have a cluster. It's just a bunch of stickers. So try to go with what you usually do, but also calm down a little bit because it is quite much. Uh, but I love how it turned out. This part was so fun. And I honestly probably would never use Halloween items in a December daily. It's just that this year it was like, okay, it's November 1st. Let's do this. And the whole world was like, we have pumpkins, okay? <laughs> Sit down. But you know what? It, it was really fun. And I tried to lift the, I glued the paper back to the other side uh, and I had to lift it. Always remember that if you're going to staple. Because I staple through other stuff. And you know have to do it again. I love these chipboard stickers from the Holly Jolly kit. Super cute. And I think I use almost all of them. I may have like three still. But I also want to use the negative part. I have no idea how I'm gonna use it. I don't know if I can use it in this album because again it's so full and it's a whole chipboard you know piece. I'm gonna go with another cluster. And those hearts come in the kit and they are so cute. I've also have uh, the Stay In kit from Studio Calico and I have Alpine Valley. Uh, the, and those are the monthly documentary kits. They also work for December Daily if you ask me. So if you want to use something simple, if you don't want to pull out all <laughs> your stickers, I think it that's a good route to go. And these are from an older Studio Calico kit. In the last, the last, um, 
well in november at the beginning of november they had an ad on sale to the subscribers and a bunch of the kids were like ten dollars and i was so tempted to grab another stay in but i had a personal chat with myself and i was like you have a lot of kids i think you're good <laughs> And I love those sprinkled shapes from Doodlebug. Um, it's difficult to use their papers for December daily, but when it comes to their sprinkles, the little stickers, the puffy ones, it's really easy to add to any kit you have. And I use a lot of pink. I love to use pink on my December daily, so it matches perfectly most of my items. Here is that left side. I was so excited with the tag that I was like, I'm gonna do that first. And then I'm gonna look for cards. I'm gonna add my journaling. And shout out to the journaling queen, Heba Albasai. Uh, I think her page is, yes, my little journal. She had the, lately, she has been adding her journaling with sticker paper, and I really wanted to try that. I th it's special with all the pictures I have. I was like, I'm going to be short on a few pages, so it may be a good idea to try. I am officially hooked. Hooked, hooked, hooked on uh, this method to add stickers. I do love adding my handwriting, but it's a lot easy to just add this journaling. And I've been, I think I have my journaling until the 20th or something like that. I want to do the last five days to print them and have them ready to go. I cut out a bunch of them. What, printed, I only have until the 6th or 7th, something like that. So I already added those to the page protectors. So I can be like, okay, all I got to do is glue down or sticker down my journaling and in this case i added a little few elements of halloween again i love this little uh card because it's not specifically holiday ish uh it has those sprinkles it does have a few stars which you know it, you can use for any occasion so it looked perfect with the whole sprinkles theme and this is the <laughs> The arch that I was talking about in uh, in the library, and I just added that little stamp. No shame in adding a few lines if it didn't stamp all the way. And this is where a few of my colors for the Halloween part came out: the orange, the purple, a little bit of yellow, and of course black. Those are the OG halloween colors so it works out perfect and it matches the spooky sweet collection so well and of course i love to use these stickers from uh, pretty little studio they're so tiny they're so cool and i love these colors and that green matches the one in the arch perfectly and this was in my house this year my bookshelf looks different this was the very first time i did a holiday bookshelf so i like the transition from what i had last year to what i have this year i also have a lot less kitty books because my kid is a little bit older so during halloween i actually gave out some of those uh books kids love that my husband thought that we were gonna get our house egged and everyone was like oh my god books this is such a great idea and every time they said it i look like my husband like i'm right i'm the queen and i am always right and i love that it's beginning to look a lot like christmas with a bunch of <laughs> halloween stuff on the background um and i just love this picture of my little one she is so joyful and funny and she was like, I don't care. I'm going to wear it. Uh, I love Christmas. 
And I love how I use this stamp. The first one is from uh, Everyday Explorers. And these stars that I'm going to use are from Studio Calico. And I got them in that subscriber subscriber sale they had. And I love them. They are going to become my new favorite in December Daily, in Project Life. It's just, they're really cool. So I'm going to mix a few colors I added that green and I'm also going to use uh, poppy red which is fresh cut and poppy red from Studio Calico are always my favorite to use my December daily I use them all the time I'm also going to use orange county and purple majestic but that one is from Ranger and I just wanted again to continue that sprinkle sort of theme and in that stamp set they have so many different little stars and asterisks and stuff like that so if you like to lay your your stamping if you like to do uh, stuff in the background if you want to add something else special it's a great stamp set to use Of course, I'm going to add a little orange, which you can tell the difference, you know, in, I'm sorry, between the orange and the red, it's very subtle. And then I added that sticker from Pretty Little Studio. And these are the pages, Halloween-y, I know kind of weird uh but i love it and i hope you enjoyed this video this is the the intro i thought that i was going to add the intro to these pages but this video was very long so i decided to do two different videos i hope you enjoyed it i, I had so much fun making this I I can't get over it. It's so cool. <laughs> if you give it a try, please tag me. I would love to see it. I know that a lot of people are not going to do the whole Halloween slash Christmas stuff. It's too much. We get it. But if you do something like this, it would be cool to see it. And I am obsessed with the journaling now. It's so easy. Thanks, Heba. And I'm going to have the sticker that I used linked below. It's an awesome sticker sheet quality love it thank you so much for watching and i hope you're having an awesome day bye